Ich liebe dich auch. Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to World of Worship. Today, guys, we have a very, very interesting gameplay. Uh, and it's not a regular ever Joe player. No, we have a huge goddamn uh, pleasure to watch Pizza Rune. <laughs> I do have Rune, Rune it's a very strong cruiser tier 9 uh, I have just played with her a little bit more so I can unlock the tier 10 uh, Yeah, don't read the chat because I do agree with that it, I do like this map a lot, she's just awesome Now, please let me tell you what do you think about uh, Hindenburg Hindenburg uh, and Zao uh, Moskva and actually even Henry the four they are all different they are all have their play style and I do believe and this is the uh, nice thing you're never gonna believe what I'm gonna say right now folks you're never gonna believe that thank you wargaming that you create every single line and every single cruiser are so damn unique I'm talking about there's no two cruiser they are uh, exactly the same i mean come on hinderberg has the play style moskova has totally different play style and uh, uh, zao has different play style and des moines uh, same thing and so on so yeah but this is uh, uh, shokaku shokaku versus lexiton and we are in division with uh, shimakazen and yamato i don't believe it's a very strong good um, how should I say um, division setup when cruiser won uh, very very good um, destroyer and one very very good battleship um, now there's something I don't know if you aircraft carrier know or doesn't know about this um, beast of a cruiser her AA is not a joke uh, let me put it in this way after and uh, please uh, tell me if I'm wrong here but I don't think I'm wrong what I'm gonna say right now after Des Moines this ladies and gentlemen it's the strongest AA cruiser in this game after this Moines Des Moines yeah, I do believe so. She will wreck playing like there's no tomorrow. Especially tier 8 and especially Japanese ones. Of course, as long as she has AA on, not on cooldown. Because any cruiser with the cooldown AA, well... But I do believe this, this captain runs premium, premium, everything premium. I do believe it's for charger for this game. And by the way, you still have the spotter plane as well. So, yeah, we might want to engage. He has okay. AP is loaded, and we change back to HE. Mogami. Ah, Mogami, you're a good cruiser. Yes, she has 155 millimeters. She is a DPM monster. Kind of weird. We still had. Uh, a she loaded and seven hits and one um, one fire on Mogami and there's definitely a railing cruiser over there oh it's another Mogami no, it's uh, the Mogami but it's in the smoke there must be a railing cruiser but she's not interesting at us she's more interesting of battleships and one more fire what do you know <laughs> German fire starter. Okay, Yamato at 17.7. .7. Oh man, I do believe the Hindenburg has a good, good, good shell arcs and good range. Makes her kind of a unique play style. And remember, uh, this is also something that you have to keep in mind. The only 12 guns to, uh, at tier 10 are actually Hindenburg and Zhao. Because the rest of all cruisers, uh, they have only nine guns. I'm talking about the Moscow. I'm talking about the Henry the Fourth and Des Moines. <laughs> what 
Hopefully you know 4,900 damage and put on fire. And just like that we have 4 fires folks in, in 32 uh, hits. Which is pretty good. I mean, come on, you're not um, the mother of all fire starter, but... And this is kind of a... Uh, you maybe of you know or maybe doesn't know. Because you have 12 guns, the, even though your percentage to put your enemy on fire are much, much, much lower than, let's say, Japanese ones, you still have a chance because to put enemy on fire because it's sheer amount of guns that you do own. And we're engaging Yamato. Oh man, that was a pretty healthy salvo, to be honest with you. Yeah. There's two Yamato. Of which one, uh, the first Yamato, uh, it's in. No, never mind, never mind. Okay, they're two, two different clients. Alright. Uh, 8,000. Unfortunately, North Carolina versus two Yamato. What do you know? Please let me know in a comment below what you think about a tier 8 battleship versus a two tiers uh, 10 battleships. I uh, do believe, and this is my wish, that Wargaming should at least on one test to see it as you as a... Um, Battleship, I'm talking about at tier 8 and below. I'm talking about what I repeat from tier 8 and below, so you can choose if you want to uh, play with plus 2 minus 2 uh, ships or plus 1 minus 1. It would be really nice, interesting because it's not quite fair that let's say if you have 60,000 HP pool and in a battleship you engage in someone who has 109 uh, and bigger guns and so on so it's not so much fun to play versus uh, two tier higher even as a battleship um, because let's face it it's it's the armor layout it's the uh, shared uh, damage and especially versus Yamato. I mean, how the hell in North Carolina can uh, uh, angle towards two Yamato? There's no such thing because that thing has such a big caliber guns they can overmatch whatever heck angles the North Carolina strike. So my point to war game is that you may consider to change the matchmaking so Players can choose if they want to chew up with plus two, minus two, if they are in tier eight or, uh, you know, uh, and below. Uh, and, uh, of course, at your tier nine, you're sometimes top dog, but sometimes you're always going to face tier ten. That's the life. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would like to see this change just to have some uh, chance. I mean, if I would play this North Carolina, how good do I fail to face two Yamatos aiming at you? You are just basically a goddamn food for them, you know? Okay, we change... Ooh, I'm sitting talking uh, a lot of stuff, but man, did you see that salvo? Maybe this is the reason you like the German uh, cruiser. Was 11,000 damage to a broadside. Even though we, we did not never Citadel, because it's not easy to Citadel a Yamato, but man, so much damage. I mean, 11,000 damage, 5,900, and now 7,000. Man, this is a DPM monster. Yamato and basically all the battleships. Don't ever! Oh man, so unfortunate. Show your sight to a German vessel, and especially Hindenburg, because Hindenburg has so many guns, and they can do so much damage, you're never gonna believe. And the reload is just fantastic. And just like that, folks, we have 140,000 damage, which is not bad, but we just started because we have pretty healthy. And man, how many Yamatos was in this game? It was one and two, and they already are, uh, are dead, but one Yamato did have three kills. Uh, three Yamatos? <laughs> three Yamatos. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, yeah, true, true. When Yamato's hitting, is hitting like a goddamn truck. But uh, um, I do believe, and this is my personal opinion, even though this is Zeras, my own personal opinion, even though you have the biggest and strongest guns and can actually deal the biggest damage, as you as a, a Yamato, you're almost like a Moskva if you show your side to any cruiser, battleship, uh, you'll be heavily punished, even you uh, you are a Yamato. But not so much if you have a German uh, battleship. I know from long range uh, Yamato can still Citadel the crap or if you, if you have just showing perfect broadside, but not from short range. Uh, so this is also how I feel about uh, Moscow. Moscow is a great, 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 great cruiser. Uh, but if she's shown any size, and I'm talking about any size to any cruiser or battleship, she is doomed. And the same thing goes with uh, Yamato. I'm not saying that she has bad armor, I'm not saying that, but what I'm trying to say is that uh, I saw some uh, salvos from Montana's and uh, uh, Missouri and so on, the Yamato player did engage something else, I forgot to angle and he basically get wrecked, you know. Kagero, it's uh, that, that destroy it's the worst destroy at tier 8 I do believe and the best in my opinion are Benson and Kiev yeah I do believe Kiev definitely is a powerhouse if you know of course how to play the the destroy but what do you know our Montana Ram <laughs> Yamato <laughs> and Enemy Yamato uh, ran Montana, all right? They ram each other. And folks, this is bad because we are only uh, this division destroyer, the Shimakaze. We and the Baltimore at tier 9 versus aircraft carrier, which unfortunately our aircraft carrier get wrecked. And soon you're gonna see we have only five, uh, how should I say, planes down. Only five, right? And they are coming forth to strike Hindenburg. All right, we did not pop the AA yet. Very interesting. This captain doesn't. Have... Now he does. Now when he's in a triple C, see we can melt. Yes, melt every single one of them. Don't go for Hindenburg. Imagine. Okay, imagine yourself. Now the I'm probably it's the. Yeah, those uh, the spotter plane uh, spot the torpedo. That's the b b worst part. But I do believe we have also have a very very good uh, uh, torps to le leech launch, which basically makes makes this uh, cruiser at close range uh, hell in some uh, way even deadlier than a uh, za. Why? Because it's the torpedo angle. Uh, yeah, Zhao has F3 Torps, which is just hilarious strong and very, very punchy and very fast. But the thing is, this captain can create a much, much better uh, torpedo wall and should definitely eat one torpedo. Man, yes, sir, one torpedo don't cost flooding. And now this Alabama, it doesn't feel that smart anymore because we might burn the crap out of this uh, battleship. Yeah, we need to kick ass because otherwise this game will lose. Okay, enemy Hindenburg. Let's see if we can change to AP. I know he wants to see the other crap around Hindenburg. I do believe that he will do that. AP is loaded. We are in the smoke, folks. Oh man, he's turning. Oh bugger. 5,000. We still have AP loaded. Okay, Minotaur. And. Um, Pretty healthy Iowa. Oh, this is intense. It's basically it's all three here versus. Oh crap! It's only Zhao left. Uh, Shimakaze and uh, this is intense, folks. This is absolutely 
three versus one uh, situation. I was over there, and uh, sorry, four because it's aircraft carry, and someone uh, seated the crap out of us and must be the Hindenburg. <sighs> no instant tense. Oh crap! For a crowd out loud, Hindenburg. We cannot ing uh, angle towards everyone, Hindenburg or Iowa. Otherwise, uh, Iowa would delete us. Oh man, we, we have to yellow. We have to yellow. And aircraft carriers coming for us. The torpedo bombers are out, and we have AA defense. Come on, pop the AA defense. It did not. Oh yeah. Without AA defense, we wrecked everyone. And I do believe that this Iowa is so doomed. Okay, this is. Eat all torps! Eat the torps! You want torps? I give you the torps! And this bugger Hindenburg almost killed us with several cities there. Whew! This is intense! And we are alone and this uh, friendly uh, Shimakaze and the aircraft care. That's the biggest threat is the damn aircraft care. Man, we cannot finish this dude. No sir, there's a freaking island. <sighs> this aircraft care is it's spotting for Hindenburg. Hindenburg is very low HP, only 400 HP. Oh man, but he still does not cho choose to pop the AA defense. And the uh, aircraft carrier knows they has good AA. Oh boy, man, how the hell, man, this annoying bugger. Oh, the Minotaur. Uh, who killed, who killed, maybe the Shimakaze killed the low HP. Um, I'm talking about the Hindenburg. But now the Minotaur is chasing our Shimakaze, which does this team combined it amazing uh, job. Uh, this uh, friendly team, I don't know what the hell they did. They suck hard. We are in the lead, but uh, it doesn't mean that we're gonna win because uh, Minotaur is still Minotaur, and they have a uh, uh, opportunity to spot the by air. I'm talking about the Shukako. And folks, we have 19 planes down. We have still AA on. Ooh, ah, uh, Minotaur, 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 Minotaur. Angle, 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 angle. But the hill, Confederate serve. Oof, this is intense. Uh, remember, Minotaur also have a bunch, and I mean a bunch of torpedoes. And so we see Del, two, two, two City Del, two City Del. Come on, guns, rear guns. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need to. Yes, sir, that's what we need. Five City Dells, folks. But now it's a big dip. Shit problem because of the torpedo. Yes, oh man, we could not uh, do it. You see, this is the power of a Renly Cruiser. It's almost impossible to dodge. <sighs> 878 versus 809, folks. Man, that was intense. That was intense, folks. That was intense. See if I. Alright. There is okay. Apologize. There's the Shimakaze. Now the enemy can still win if they will spot and uh, kill. Because now, uh, even though we have a pretty good twenty-one planes down, folks, and our spotter it's up. Shukako, I don't know how, if they still have the planes available it's 918 versus 849 and it's one minute and 39 seconds left okay folks this is intense Whew. and a lot of spotter plane and uh, fighters but fighters will not kill the shimakaze <laughs> all right <laughs> we still control uh, b and d and uh, which is good where is this bugger uh, okay, behind this big, um, mm, it's one minute and seven seconds left. GG guys, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> now maybe this aircraft can run our uh, um, uh, planes. Maybe. Yes, sir. Oh well, man, that was a pretty intense battle to be honest with you. And I will show you the power of uh, Hindenburg. And no torpedo bomber, no dive. Okay, the, here's the dive bombers. And it's 39 seconds left. Um, yeah. Now we have to use the rudder to not get to tor because this is. Um, could be, you know, his end if he will uh, do uh, drop. But it's not easy to drop on the. Uh, very maneuverable uh, Japanese destroyer. This is what happened, I told you. 
If that will be a lexiton, there will be a different story, but no, it's not. And that's the end, folks. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your comment below, and as always, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.